Tommy Nordpol, Life in Norway. Did you ever see a scene that you want to photograph but you hesitate or picked up the camera too late? This is what I'm gonna talk in this episode. Some days you can just stroll around for hours taking 100 strange pictures and then the last one you take, bam, that's the banger. We're gonna talk about something close to the decisive moment. Sometimes it's just a pure luck. You find a scene, you start to compose your shot, and then something unexpected is popping up to the scene. And then you press the shutter and you end up with something magical. It happened to me just a few minutes ago when I captured this shot. I'm not sure if I'm 100% correct, but usually in Norway at least, when you see like bicycle colored in one color, usually it's white, that means that someone had accident over there on the bicycle. So I was trying to compose this shot, just like another shot on my day, and then this little kid is riding the bike next to it, in the perfect spot, in the perfect place. All I had to do is just press the shutter, and this little aspect, this little miracle that happened, it gave another meaning to the whole photograph. And that's when it surprised me, that's when I'm really happy with the picture. And I can go home right now because I'm sure I'm not gonna take any better picture than that today. It's when you take like thousand pictures per day pretty much, you're gonna find more moments than just one. Sometimes you picked up your camera too late or you don't want to act weird and photograph strange situation or something. You don't have to be like a hunter on the hunt, but you need to understand when the situations are happening. So when the one like that is happening to you, you're ready to take the shot or few and you don't regret anything. Of course I learned it the hard way, like I missed so many shots because I was afraid to take out my camera and point it and take a photo. Or I was wondering like should I do it? What people are gonna think or and because of that I missed so many great shots. Or maybe not, who knows? Nobody gonna see them anyway. When you start to learn about street photography, sooner or later you're gonna find the work of Henri Cartier-Bresson, the famous father of street photography. His work inspired many street photographers to do something similar in these days. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, because sooner or later all the photographs are starting to look quite similar. I believe it's important to know the works of other people, especially the ones who coined the term that we are all so passionate about. The decisive moment for me is not just like staying in one spot, waiting for the things to happen. For me it's more about, of course, being in the right place in the right time, but also a huge amount of luck. When something happens, it happens and then you're like wowed by it. And if you manage to take that shot, that's the best thing that can happen to you. Everything like that is like, when you try to force it, it's never gonna happen. Or you're gonna end up with something very fake and unsatisfying. Of course, many times the situations like that can happen when you don't have your camera with you. It's very hard these days to don't have even a smartphone camera with you, but it happens sometimes that you, you just cannot take it out in the moment and take the photo. That's why I recommend always keep some little camera with you. So when you're ready, when it happens, you know it and you can take it. And I wish you that this moment happened to you and I can bet you're gonna recognize it. Still not cool as this tiger getting close. 
you have to say there is something interesting about the photography and if you enjoyed this episode so far maybe you can see one of this or one of that you choose whatever you choose i'm good with it have a nice day and take a fantastic photographs ciao if my youtube channel gonna blow up i'm gonna afford one of these houses like this one